anyone I can think of. So she's a great supporter, and here is Rita Meyer. Thank you so much for the invitation. It's uh, just super. I'm uh, just going to a few couple opening comments. Uh, and I would just want to say that uh, wherever I go as state auditor and certainly now as candidate uh, for governor, I always speak about uh, the retail industry across Wyoming and certainly uh, the tourism industry. And I always take along a factoid, which is the number of tourism dollars that are appropriate for that community in that county. And of course, we know in this county, over $300 million is spent uh, every year in tourism dollars, and that usually lights up the eyes of folks in the community. In addition to that, uh, wherever I go, go, I also talk about buying Wyoming, both personally uh, and uh, businesses, and I'm also very, very uh, adamant about that for state appropriated dollars. There's an opportunity to truly redirect a lot of the dollars that we spend in state government in the operation of state government for products and services back to Main Streets and across Wyoming. We wouldn't have to use very many economic development dollars in this state if we would simply be more conscious, if state government would be more conscious about how they spend appropriated dollars for the things they need for operation of state government. The other thing I talk about is travel Wyoming. I think it's very important how we get those outside, those new monies for tourists across the, across the state of Wyoming. But I think it's very important, particularly right now where people have uh, lesser incomes than they perhaps had a couple years ago, for people to think about traveling the state rather than going out of state and spending those monies in communities across Wyoming. As you consider uh, candidates and your candidate uh, for governor, I would just ask that you seriously consider where I've been, what I've done, and how I've served the tourist, tourism and retail trade industry. I'm telling you what, I'm a big shopper on Main Streets across Wyoming because I seldom get an opportunity to shop elsewhere, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> just came back from Torrington uh, where I spent some bucks on Saturday, so I appreciate that and appreciate your time today. And uh, what's the forum? You just go ahead with questions? Yeah. Okay. Well, good afternoon and welcome, Rita. As a way of introduction, I'm Ken Patel. I'm board member of WLRA, as well as chairman of the Government Affairs Committee and chair of the WLRA PAC. And since you talk about the tourism, I have first question on tourism. Since the Wyoming Travel and Tourism Program is an investment that brings over 100 million a year in state and local taxes and 30,000 full and part-time jobs, would you maintain spending at the current level, even in the light of budget shortfalls? You know, I think that we can't afford not to do that. Uh, those investments of dollars in Wyoming bring new money to Wyoming, and I think it's very important that we continue the investment. Uh, I was there when a lot of discussion was taking place about, uh, if you will, breaking out the tourism industry from under the uh, umbrella of the Business Council somewhat, and I've been a real proponent of that. I think those dollars have been spent wisely. Uh, it's not that you don't go back over time and review everyone's budget and review the programs and the results that are gotten uh, from different programs, even in tourism and, and all throughout state government. So I think it's important to revisit those programs, to look at results so that internally you can re redirect dollars. But I would not support reducing expenditure uh, in that particular in, in tourism. Yeah. Rita, hi, nice to see you again. Nice Barry Sims, I'm the uh, president elect of, elect of the Wyoming Lodging and Restaurant Association. Rita, what would you um, specifically do to uh, diversify or expand Wyoming's economy? Get that question a lot. Sure, and, and try to be as specific as you possibly can. Sure. Um, there is a lot of diversity going on across Wyoming, however, um, a lot of the diversification we're doing will always be overshadowed by the revenues from the energy industry because they are so huge. But there is diversification taking place. The number one thing I have championed is making sure that we have a good platform for high-speed internet, global access, integrated communication systems because there's not a business in Wyoming that's looking to expand or a new business coming in, or a business here, a startup in the state itself, that doesn't need those platforms uh, to grow or to start a new business. 
In addition to that, I've always been a champion of investment in research and development at the University of Wyoming and at our community college and in other sectors across the state. Uh, there is an opportunity here to do a lot of research and to be the world leader in terms of uh, reduction of the carbon footprint. Uh, not only as we produce energy across Wyoming, but also uh, as we export. Uh, and we have some research and development being done in coal gasification. We need to continue that in coal carbon sequestration. Uh, and I think those are, are really important uh, for the future of Wyoming, not only in terms of diversification of what we do, but in terms of, uh, of helping with that carbon footprint. So NCAR is going to bring, uh, there will be a lot of follow-on businesses. Uh, because NCAR, of course, is high-tech. Uh, computer systems, there'll be a lot of businesses that spin off from that. So I think we have to look towards technology uh, in terms of Wyoming diversifying and expanding. But, as I always say, businesses belong uh, uh, being developed uh, and, and jobs being developed uh, out on farms and ranches, on main streets, uh, certainly in the, in the energy sector. I'm not a proponent of trying to build jobs with government dollars. We have Tim Guyberson with J.C. Penney and the current chair of the Wyoming Retail Association. Uh, my question to you is, uh, if revenues fall below expectations and there is a need for additional taxes during your administra administration, what specific, taxes, uh, what specific taxes would you propose? Of course, that hypothetical T word, which is always a, a great big trap for anybody running for any office. Uh, certainly, I think before you ever approach the T word, uh, here in Wyoming specifically, you have to look at having the proper size of government. You have to look at reducing government expenditures. You have to look and make sure we are truly focused on providing for the needs of Wyoming citizens versus the wants of Wyoming citizens. Too often, when we have a lot of money, there's mission creep in government, and we start to do things that are truly not needed, but they're nice to have. So I think you always have to look at that. In addition to that, um, looking at government, reducing the size of government, expenditures on that side, but also um, it's important, as I said, to separate wants and needs. But in addition to that, look very carefully. Uh, look and see uh, if you are thinking about a tax, making sure you're looking at transparency, uh, making sure you're looking at what is truly needed in terms of a tax and how will that affect? How will it cause for instability? Uh, is, it, is it transparent? Uh, all of those things need to be considered before you ever consider a tax. And number one, most of all, you have to make sure that you're truly separating wants from needs. As I said, that mission creep in government, uh, it's easy for government to grow uh, and get those things all mixed up. I know as a member of the SLIB board, um, the State Building Commission, we had a, a project before us from the Department of Corrections, which was to build housing in Rollins for prison guards. And I said, not only no, but heck no, should we ever compete with the private sector in terms of building houses. If we had an issue where prison guards couldn't afford housing, then we needed to look at differential pay or a different kind of housing, but that belongs in the private sector, absolutely.